hello to all my fellow creatives and pushers of pixels, paint, and pondering. I hope each of you are having a dazzling day and learning something along your way. This video is to introduce myself to you and talk a little bit about my journey. Why? because I have always believed in mentors and the sharing of knowledge and skills for not only creating, but flowing with, through, and around the many challenges we creatives face. As an artist, I go by the moniker of J3. I chose this name for a few reasons. My name is Jim, and I am actually the third Jim in my family line. So the name just seemed right, and I liked the concept. I was surrounded by a very inspiring mother, a grandfather who is a sign and fine arts painter and published cartoons and very artistic list of family members each in their own ways and means. Looking back, I can see how each of them had some influence on my own creative wanderings through my youth. My grandfather was an artist and illustrator whose work was well known and published on both local and national levels. As a child, I used to sit in his studio and watch him sketch, draw, and paint. He also loved technology and had many photo cameras and movie cameras he used and collected. I was always fascinated with his collection of technology and his skills as an artist. I thought it was so wonderful that he could not only draw and paint, but create images and movies. My early years of watching and learning from him certainly influenced my own creative skills, and I would draw and sketch with him in his studio on my summer stays when I was out of school. My mother noticed my young drawing skills and entered many of my little works of art into competitions. I remember winning a few and was bitten by the creative bug of creation. As the years went by, my creative talents began to become more refined, and my teachers in school took notice and often encouraged me to enter my art pieces into various competitions. My high school art teacher noticed my abilities to produce art and designs that were really focused, results-driven, and outputs of my creative mind and perspective. She began to help me take my imagination and skills and generate ideas and solve creative challenges and the challenges challenges of the current conventions in art to bring about new perspectives to my writing, art, and creative process. She was the main influence in pointing me to design school as an option for me upon graduating high school. I was often shy and seemingly insecure, but I was never undetermined. I worked hard. I focused on regaining my skills and more importantly, bringing the right mindset, not only to my creative works, but my life. It was to say the least, a turning point. I decided to return to school to update my old literal cut and paste methods of layout and reproduction to the new at time digital clipboard and a range of new softwares used to lay out, create and reproduce modern design work. The most important thing I have recognized from years in the design trenches is telling my clients stories. Stories are what people connect with. They are entertained by them and they are motivated and driven by stories. So helping my clients develop and tell their stories is the aim of my work these days and the motivating factor for communicating with others in the here and now. We have so many ways to tell our stories, and I harness the tried and tested skills of words, text, graphics, and design. But I also encourage my clients to embrace the next realm of marketing, which is video and video content. My current business is J3 Media, which stands for Media, Marketing, and Meaning. I help clients tell their stories, and this can range from Kickstarter videos and how-to videos to packaging design and marketing materials. As of last year, I began focusing on video content and creation for telling these engaging stories that consumers can and will connect with. I continue to offer design work for infographics, video support, posters, and other traditional forms of marketing and messaging, but I'm seeing the power and shift of video work being needed and preferred by most clients these days. 
as I get older and begin to consider personal options for remaining creative and inspired, I have realized that though I have had many amazing clients on both global and local scales, and I have produced award-winning work for them and their clients, I have never really been my own client. I've never really done creative work for myself. With that said, I have begun embracing my own art and my own design work and have introduced my own line of t-shirt designs and my latest, a clothing line featuring my photographic works of street art and graffiti that I find on the trains and underneath bridges on my walks around town. I am testing three unique designs and recently have been picked by a French Canadian company wishing to utilize my street art patterns in a new clothing line that they are launching. This is pretty exciting and a great way for me to combine my own photography and design skills into some wearable art. I have three initial design patterns finished up, proofs and garments printed and approved and launched as a small test. I will include links to my store and the items in the description below. I would love to hear some feedback on the designs and items, so please feel free to drop some feedback in the comments section below. As artist feedback on what we create is important, when I say feedback, it's important to really understand what that is. Anyone can criticize and find flaws. There is no real skill in telling someone that something sucks. The genuine and appreciative skill is offering constructive critiques. In other words, you share personal insights and views that allow the artist to understand a unique perspective and decide if the changes or comments warrant creative actions and changes. For example, I will use one of my t-shirt designs. Take a look at this design, Brain Freeze. As a concept, it's relatable and most of us have experienced it when eating frozen desserts too quickly. But as a design, does it relate to my audience? Is my audience adults, children? Is the style appropriate for a given audience? Do I know my audience? As the artist, I like a certain grungy, garbage pail kids style of illustration. I consider my audience an alternative style loving type that enjoys gritty off color humor and style. So did I hit the mark? Is it too much? Too little? Maybe just weird? Hopefully you can see where constructive feedback can be of help. Hopefully you can learn to give and receive constructive criticism. As a creative, I'm sure you can understand the value of others' opinions. As a human, I hope you can master the art of giving creative feedback. So no matter how good we think we are as creatives, there is no shortage of people with opinions. So the most fundamental thing about creativity is to have the humility to continue to give and get that feedback and to try to get better at it. Because our big task in this new era is to try to help everyone else get better with us. Have an amazing moment and create the magic your mind has manifested. As always, J3.